Welcome to the Forte Web training video series. This video is going to cover load linking or linking reactions within Forte Web. So the reaction linking function within Forte Web allows you to take the reaction from one member and transfer that onto another member. So let's take a look at our reference plans and we have the a link to this file here down in the YouTube description or as a resource depending on how you're accessing this video. First we're going to start off with uh, the roof. So we have a 16 foot span for these TJI joists RJ1 with a 2 foot overhang and they're being supported by a flush beam at the ridge and a bearing wall on the exterior. So what we can do is size up these roof joists, transfer the reaction up to the ridge to size the ridge beam. We could also take the reaction at the low end to size both this header HD1 and remember we have this bearing wall and in our floor joist sizing example we manually calculated the point PLF load because this cantilevered floor joist FJ4 um, was supporting the bearing wall above. So we can take the reaction from RJ1 put it down on the ends of FJ4 and save ourselves some math. And you can carry this on through the project. So that's the example that we're going to be talking about here. In the interest of time, I've already entered the member information and spans and supports information for some of the members that we're going to size here for this load linking demonstration. So starting with the roof joist, we have RJ1. I've already input the pitch. I've already input the spans and supports. So we're going to scoot right over to the loads tab. And we have our uniform load for the roof as per the plan. And we're going to scoot over to the product selection. And we're just going to choose a TJI. Um, you do have to complete design and select a product in order to be able to select that reaction to transfer it on to another member. Because you know the heavier the product the greater the dead load so you do have to make a selection in order for Forte Web to be able to transfer that reaction. You don't have to go to the reports tab you just need to pick something that works. And then if we go over to our ridge B1 and again I've already input the member info and span and support info now if we go to our little drop down here by add loads, we have the ability to link reactions. Now if you have members in your job that have not been totally through design, in other words you haven't selected a product in the solutions tab, they're not going to show up here on the left. So for this ridge I want to select a reaction from RJ1, so I can select that here. And the first bit of information it's going to ask you is which reaction do you want to transfer on this member that you're about to size? Well, I don't care about the low end, I care about the reaction at the high end. So I choose bearing number two. And if you have a multi-span member, uh, that's the source of your load that you're linking, uh, you'd be able to choose three or four, or however many bearing points there are. The next bit of information that you need to give Forte Web is how, how is this uh, reaction to be transferred to whatever's supporting it? Is it going to be a point load in pounds? Uh, is it going to be a point PLF like we had on FJ4? Or is it going to be uniform PLF? Well, keep in mind we're sizing this beam here, so the reaction is going to be uniform across the whole thing. Well, that is 16 feet. And how is it being applied? Is it coming from the top, front, back side? We'll just say the front because it is a flush connection. And then we transfer that to the vertical loads grid. And now we've applied the reaction from the roof joist from one side of the ridge. Now we have to do the same thing coming in from the opposite side. So we just go ahead and repeat that process very quickly. Bearing point number two across the whole thing, 16 feet. And this time it's coming in from the back side. So now we've accounted for all the load occurring on that ridge. 
Now we can do the same sort of thing with HD1 or back with FJ4. So remember with FJ4, that's a different kind of load. This is where we manually calculated it. We can go ahead and do a link reaction from RJ1. And you'll notice how my ridge has got this little caution sign. That's because it's not all the way through design yet. We haven't selected a product. So this time we are going to choose the reaction from the low end of our roof joist and it's going to be a point PLF. Remember how that load is coming down through the bearing wall and occurring as a point load across the joist and we can put in the location here and it's coming in um, onto the top of those floor joists. So transfer to the vertical loads grid. So again, you want to pay attention to those units, garbage in, garbage out. You want to make sure that you're getting uh, the correct loads. Now you will notice a difference here um, significant difference in our magnitudes for the dead load. Keep in mind that Forte Web is slope correcting the dead load for our RJ1. When we did the manual calculations, we did not slope correct the dead load, so that's what's accounting for the difference there. And then you can go ahead and delete because we don't want to overload our floor joist. Okay, so now you see how to transfer the loads, but the really great part about this is if something changes, let's say uh, you made a mistake and the snow load for your roof is actually 50 PSF live, not 40 like you originally told. Well, you can go back to your main source uh, object and you can change the load here. Let's change it to 50. And you see how the little the little chain links went kind of yellow on the objects that had uh, link loads from that member. So you need to go back and reselect your product and we can see that it fails now. So we need to pick something else that works. So let's go to 16 on center. Great, it works. And now you can go and look at the magnitudes on FJ4. Make sure that still works, it does, but you should see the load update. So before it was, I think, roughly 400, and now it's 500 PLF for the snow. And we did not have to do any math to recalculate our manual PLF line load, and uh, the load on our ridge should be adjusted as well for the new load. If you ever need to revise any of the linkages that you've set up, for any existing loads and you don't want to delete and re-input, if you click on this little edit link, chain link button, it'll put you back into the link and transfer support reaction screen. So you can make whatever edits you need to do here rather than delete and re-input. So load linking is a very useful tool. Highly recommend it. Um, might take a few more steps as you're initially inputting your job, but saves you a lot of work and revisions downstream. And the comments make it very clear to whoever's reviewing your work as to uh, the source of the loads and where is it coming from. And the numbers will match up exactly so you don't have to worry about, oh, did I revise all the calcs downstream. So that's it for load linking. Very powerful tool within Forte Web. Hope you find some creative uses for it in your work and hope it makes your life a little easier. Thanks for choosing Forte Web and specifying Trust Choice Warehouser products.